we're done with this image now. Have the final look here. There it is. This has got quite a few layers and it takes quite a while to save a file like this, especially since it's in 16-bit. Now I suggest that you archive any images like this that are important to you. Keep all these layers should you ever want to make any changes, or at the bare minimum, let's say if you needed space, you could merge layers that you know you're not going to mess with in the future. But now to print, we need an 8-bit version anyway, because we can't print this 16-bit version. Now I could go File, Save As, save it as 16-bit, and then change it to 8-bit, but it takes quite a while to save as 16-bit. So here's a little time saver you can try. Go up here to Image, Duplicate, and I'll call this uh, for print or whatever. Final, something like that. I'll call it print. And see, this doesn't take any time to open up at all. It's, we've got two open right now. And we're going to want to merge these layers. We're in 16-bit, so I, I want to cook these color adjustment layers also in here and then turn it to 8-bit. Because if you keep your color adjustments separate and you merge all this in here and change it to 8-bit, then you're essentially asking these adjustment layers to do their work on an 8-bit file, so now you're going to get banding and gaps in the histogram. So for this, it's pretty straightforward. I just want all this flattened. I could go merge visible or flatten. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just going to cook everything into one layer. Once this is done, there's only one step left, and this is to go up to Image, Mode, and change it to 8-bit. And you can see when you do this, there's no gaps in the histogram because those color adjustments were cooked in previously. Well, we're done here and it's ready to go, ready to print. It's a very nice histogram as you can see here. It's about as pretty as you're going to get. Just a perfect bell curve. So this is the one you'd want to print. I'm not going to save it because I can get another version off of this one. Uh, to sum up though, let's look at the before straight out of camera raw and here's the after quite an improvement so be patient when you're in camera raw don't feel like you gotta get it all done there just get that histogram looking great that way you can bring all that information into Photoshop where you can work the magic let's look at this image at like say 200% We'll look at the before and after here. This is my little Chihuahua Petey. The other ones are Penny and Ginger, by the way. This guy's about three years old now. Let's see the before and step by step. Things started coming along, huh? These are color adjustments and then the vignette, which you won't see in this view. There's the before and after. Back to the full view here. Well, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. You can check out additional resources I'll be putting together on my blog, which you can reach through cbrush.com. So take it easy, and best wishes for your photography.